Etcher County has been cracking down on game rooms for quite some time. A few rules and regulations have been put into place, but they don't plan on stopping now. Sydney Jollivet has an update on their progress. The topic of game rooms in Ector County has been a long held discussion. We cannot eliminate them entirely, but what we can do is eliminate the locations in which, which they're located and regulate that. And so it's something that is a, a worthy discussion piece. The Ector County Commissioner's Court has implemented regulations in the past, but the community still feels the presence of the rooms is far too prevalent. The state of Texas has made it clear that the game rooms are running outside the parameters of the law. There was a recent Texas Supreme Court ruling, ruling that eight liners, a particular machine in these game rooms, is deemed unconstitutional. Constitutional, and that was a, a, an appellate decision that was upheld uh, over uh, in this this court case took place in December. And so, what exactly are the implications of deeming that a particular piece of equipment is unconstitutional? Essentially, saying it is against the Constitution to be gambling. These machines are gambling. Moving forward, the court has plans to seek legal counsel so future regulations stick. We have to t have a takings impact assessment, understanding that what our impact is going to be with this regulation on real property. And then what we're, we're looking at doing is putting them outside of the MPO boundaries. The MPO is the Metropolitan Planning Organization. And so that is the preliminarily from our discussions, the boundary that we're looking at. And what that does is it puts them outside of Gardendale, it puts them out of the city of Odessa, it puts them outside of Loop 338, it puts them outside of West Odessa, and it puts them outside of Pleasant Farms. Where they go outside of that is up to their discretion. Uh, that is their job for them to figure out. No concrete regulations were decided at today's meeting. However, plans are being made to enforce the law. The fact that we have these and our neighbors to the east and Midland have none is, is a poor reflection upon our community. And this is something that I, I take personally uh, as the leader of this community, as the county judge. I think that we need to be looking, and this is what we have done. I have spent considerable amount of times looking at what our legal authority is and ultimately get them out of the MPO boundaries, which is essentially our metropolitan area. The community is encouraged to attend public hearings and speak on how the game rooms are affecting their own neighborhood. Having civic input throughout this process, and we invite the, the owners of these businesses who we have never been able to engage in a conversation with. We invite the owners to come here and speak with us. We invite the public to come provide their input because we are a public entity and we want to hear back from the constituents on what their thoughts are on this before we enact any policy or regulation. County Judge Fawcett, along with the council, are taking every necessary action to eventually eliminate game rooms entirely in Ector County.